Hello there everybody. This is going to be my May favorite products video. It's a little bit late, but you know, it's the first day of June. You got to give someone a little bit of time. So to get right into it, the very first thing is my new Shurimura eyelash curler. This has been around for forever, but uh, I finally broke down and decided, okay, I'm going to spend the money and just get a new eyelash curler. I might as well get this one. Um, and this thing has yet to pinch me. So all of the eyelash colors, uh, curlers I've had before this, they pinch my eye like crazy. But this has been yet to do it. So I am loving this. Um, yeah, I, I can't stand that when eyelash curlers do that. And it, it makes you kind of cringe a little bit because you know it's coming. So I'm loving it. Now for eyeliners. I'm loving the L'Oreal Hip Color Chrome eyeliners. I have it in gold and a violet and then a silver. These puppies are so soft. They're almost as soft as my Stila Eye Cajal, and that's saying a lot. Those are the swatches. They have a great color payoff. Um, they're easy to smudge, so they make really good bases. And once they sit for a few minutes, they really don't budge anywhere, so I am loving that. Another eyeliner I got is from Ulta, so relatively inexpensive. This one is in teal blue. It's one of those twisty ones. And I've worn this on my waterline, and I just absolutely love it. And the color payoff is really nice. And then from Revlon, which you can get at any drugstore, is their luxurious color eyeliner in antique gold. That's what it looks like that one for you. It's not as intense as the L'Oreal Hip. Oop, is the L'Oreal Hip eyeliner. But it's really nice, makes a great base cuz I'm really into using eyeliners as bases now rather than like Urban Decay primer potion or any other sort of cream product. I'm just really in the mood to do that. It's getting close to summertime, so we all know skin is going to be going to that very kind of glowy, tanny, um, just luminescent skin is going to be popular. I recommend Benefits Moonbeam. This works well for people who have tan to darker skin tones. Uh, not saying that if you're not fair, you know, you can still use this, but it looks better on darker skin tones, gives that real light reflective kind of dewy look and you can use the Benefit High Beam if you're more fair skinned. Now for concealer, I've been really liking the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer in Fair. This is what it looks like. This doesn't work very well with my 224 brush that I normally buff it into the skin. I use a standard concealer brush like this. And I tap it onto the skin and then use my finger to blend it in completely. Some reason I think the warmth of my finger probably causes it not to crease and you know just goes on very smoothly where it's supposed to go. Now for my brush that I've been loving. This is the Clinique Blender Brush. It's very large, very dense. It's great for blending or packing on color. I think this is $20, don't quote me on that, but you can go to Clinique's website or you can get it from Sephora. Next, eyeshadows. I'm loving the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palettes. This one is in Vanity. See those colors? They have great payoff. I know people on YouTube have been raving about this. This is probably the most user-friendly one. If you're not into a lot of color, you're just in neutrals, I would pick up the Vanity Palette. Now, from Wet n Wild, these are the, let's see, I think the sticker's covering it up. Wet n Wild Perfect Pair Lip Wand. One end, whoops, as I drop it. One end has a lipstick on it in kind of a crayon formula. And then the other side is a lip liner. So two for one, you can't beat that. And the payoff is not bad. Uh, it was a lot better than I expected because I got it two for one. Let's see, that is the lipstick and that one next to it is the lip liner. So you can see that's kind of a fuchsia color and the lipstick gives kind of a chrome effect which is great for the summertime. 
And the, that one is in the color, better tell you guys. Number 120, Hanky Pinky. Cute name. The other one, that two for one, same thing, but the color is called 122 Sensual Peach. There is the lip liner, and next to it is the lipstick. And that one, too, gives that kind of chromatic, dual, shiny look to it. So very nice, very beautiful. Impressed with it. I'll probably be using it sometime on the next couple tutorials to kind of showcase it. The last thing, it's not exciting whatsoever, but you know the MAC brush cleaner. It comes in that stupid squeeze bottle that you always get too much out of it and you're wasting so much product. Put it in a spray bottle. This gives you the control of how much you want and you can directly put it onto the brush and then wipe it off on a clean paper towel or clean washcloth, whatever you have on hand. And that way you're not wasting as much. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my May favorites and you guys have a good day.